Concert Crew Podcast, we back again. Yes, Yo, we are. Well, let's get it. Yo, yes, we to, are. Today, we celebrate in the 30th anniversary of Martin. Martin, 30. Martin. 30 years. 30, 30 years, years, man. Damn. Damn, that's crazy. 30 years, man. When was the last episode recorded? Uh, 1997. 97 was the last but, time. But was ever. Martin even on that episode? Yes, he was. Remember the last episode? Martin was on the last episode. Remember, at the end, we're going to get into it a little more, oh, but man. at the end, they were shooting Martin and Gina's scene separate. Um, I thought they did that's episodes when they got with Pam. Say she was by herself. No, that that, that wasn't the last one, though. Yeah, the last yeah, yeah, one. Yeah. The last couple oh, yeah, episodes. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, first, yeah. Tisha Campbell was away for a while. Yeah. Then she came back, but they wasn't shooting scenes together. Right. So, yeah. Um, yeah, but the last episode um, was on uh, May 1st, 1997. The first episode was August 27th, 1992. Mm. I, I, I feels like I was older when Martin came out, but I wasn't. So like, it, it's, wow, it just it just has that long of a lifespan that yeah. we just loved it for that long. Ninety two years, still what? loving it. How old? Shit playing 92? right now. Ninety two. I was in elementary school in ninety two. Yeah, I was seven. So I was in elementary school. Yeah, I was in middle school. Yeah, you old nigga. <laughs> but, but I was in elementary school in ninety two. But man, Martin, they just put out a. Um, a uh, reunion special on BT, BT Plus. Um, how how do y'all feel about uh you know did, did you learn anything? How you feel about the reunion special all together? Uh, it was okay to me. It wasn't. I guess, I guess like the first Prince kind of set the bar high as far right. as like doing actually like a good reunion. I mean, it, it, like it wasn't bad, but I just they didn't get into the the meat and the potatoes of the issues and stuff. Which I wanted to hear, like, you know, was their beef? Was oh, there... you saying so? Like on the on the Fresh Prince, they addressed the oh, thing yeah, with yeah, Aunt yeah, Viv. Yeah, they yeah, just yeah. kind of left. I get yeah, what you're like saying. The whole they kind of left the whole thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Seemed like it was staged to me. Really? You know what yeah, I'm saying? Like, not as, as far as staged for them for him not to ask no questions. And I didn't like that he wasn't being funny as as well. A host. Avion Crockett was the host, yeah, for the, but I still uh, wanted him to be. He was funny. a real good host too. Yeah, he yeah. he did a good job, but I just he wasn't being himself. Yeah, and that's what I ain't like. I, but, I understand he's trying to clean up for this and it's, know how important it is, but be yourself, man. But what if that is himself now? Like, w- w- nah, man, that motherfucker I mean, too that funny, that man. Years ago. Nah. That was a long time ago. Freaks. I'm not talking about Martin. I'm talking uh, about Avion Crockett. Oh, Avion. Oh, Cro- oh, oh, you yeah. want Avion Crockett to be? Yeah, funny. I, I thought you were talking I, about yeah. Martin. I, was like, I thought you were talking about Martin too. Nah, 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 nah. Oh, so he's saying Avion Crockett oh, wasn't in funny mode. I ain't got. We didn't get make it to Martin yet, but I just thought that. I wanted him to, you know what I'm saying, like, still be a fan. I know, I, I know that you try to nail this, but yeah, I think still he, be a fan. You know what I'm I saying? I think he was trying to just take the gig. He was, yeah, I, I, yeah, that's like an honor. Yeah. I, I'm sure that's an honor to him to be, I'm sure they might probably yeah. ask him to be the host. So I think he was just trying to do his best to yeah. just be a host and not funny. You know, Got, but I, I he had some good saying, questions though. Like, like yeah, he clearly did. he was a fan. He watched the show. Oh, absolutely. How could you, you not know? be a yeah. fan? How could you but not? But him be a being a little bit more funny will open them up. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's well, just me. Well, some things I took away. Um, I didn't know they all were close or and knew each other before the show. Yeah, me I neither. didn't know. I, no, like, I, I ain't know Tisha Campbell and Tashina Arnold. They lived together. Yeah, they yeah, was yeah. best I, friends I that before yeah. the show. Yeah, I yeah. didn't know that. Yeah. So I just thought they was just tight from the show over right. here. I didn't know they was already close. And they knew um, Cole, uh, yeah. Carl Payne. They knew him. And I didn't know that he was – out of all of them, he was considered the artist that was popping, or the actor that was popping yeah, yeah, the most. I, 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 I know he was either. cockroach on um on the Cosby's, Cosby but they also yeah. said that he was like in big in the commercials right. and yeah. acting and stuff. So, and uh, both Tashina Arnold and um, uh, Tisha Campbell was on Little Shop of Horror, and I actually remember that now. Remember Little Shop of Horror with yeah, the big yeah, plant, yeah. <laughs> feed me, see more. Yeah. Yeah. And I and I'm thinking about I'm thinking back about that, and they was on there. They was what, definitely what part? on it. What was they? I remember them on singing? there now. They were singing. Okay, okay. They, okay, what, yeah, they yeah, definitely yeah, was on there, yeah, yeah. but I didn't think about I didn't know who they was then. I got to go back and watch that. They definitely My was man, on uh, there, man. Rick Moranis. They definitely he, was on there. The, uh, shopkeeper. <laughs> yeah. That that was a crazy movie. Yeah. I definitely remember that, though. <laughs> but I didn't know that. And I didn't know that Pam wasn't actually a, considered a main character yeah, for the first yeah, two seasons. I yeah. I didn't even I realize didn't that. that. She didn't get a script sometimes. Nah, she saying, like, I did not. Re- she wasn't on some episodes, and I really, really, really didn't pay attention yeah. to that like that. So I definitely learned something. And then some of the some of my favorite moments, just hearing that 
it was just made up. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, like yeah. <laughs> especially my boy. What? What did you like? Especially my boy, stuff? man, Tommy Davidson. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was crazy. He was like, yo, I just was freestyling yeah. all that. And then they show, and you can see Martin. I wasn't even paying attention to that. You can see Martin, like, laughing. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, yo, that stuff is dope like that. Yeah, stuff man. Like no more fun clips is amazing, go back man. and watch it. Like, damn, like, he was laughing while it, it, the yeah, scene was going like, Tommy back, back yeah, cracking yeah. up. And, and and the tribute to Tommy was dope, too, man. Oh, you know, yeah, you know that's definitely. sad that he's not there, but I felt like they took the time to to, to make sure he got some love, yeah. too, man. And he brought his family in. Brought his family, his wife, wife and kids yeah. on there. That was dope. I don't know what you can get from a reunion special. Really, what, what can you yeah. really get? I do get the part where... The Fresh Prince did address their drama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you yeah. know, uh, Martin, it seemed like they was just keeping this thing yeah. real. Yeah, PG. they was trying to get the fuck in and out. Real yeah. safe. They was trying to keep this fuck <laughs> in <laughs> and out, ways, man. Yeah. Who knocking on the door? I hope, I hope somebody knocked this out the moment. <laughs> That's how my boy was sitting, man. I was like, damn. You know, like, he wasn't involved to me in it like Who, that. Avion as the host? Nah, Martin. Oh, Martin. Yeah, Martin. Yeah, he was just on, chilling. He was just chilling. You know what I'm saying? But I, I do think some of that is, maybe like, I think some of it is that Martin, of course, is Martin. The yeah. show's named him. But I feel like he wanted the, the show to get shine too and not let it be all about him. I yeah. kind of felt like that a little bit. I think maybe he, maybe like being back at the set and being back when maybe brought up some bad times. Like, damn, I really fucked up back then. You know what I'm saying? Like, trying to, you know, the, like the whole him and Tisha. But after I learned, we're going to get like, into that a little more. But after I learned some more details about it, it actually wasn't that. We'll, we'll talk about it. <laughs> we'll talk about it a, a little later. But the history of the show, man, uh, Martin, you know, between Def Comedy Jam and stand, well, stand up and then Def Comedy Jam, he was hot hosting Def Comedy oh, yeah, Jam. Yeah. He was hot out there. Then he started acting. He started doing the. Um, What's happening now? I don't know if you remember that he was yeah, on What's yeah, Happening absolutely. Now. Then he did House Party One and Two. You know that yeah. was to to, mm -hmm. to the culture. That was the biggest things ever. Dragon Breath Bilal. <laughs> to Bilal, <laughs> man. That was a big deal. So then that went right into he was getting his own show. Yeah. So he wanted Tisha Campbell, as he said. From well, before the that, he was in uh, Do the Right Thing too. Yes, he was. Yeah, yes, right he thing. was. was absolutely. 89. So he wanted Tisha Campbell, and she had another. She said she had another show lined up. So, um, but he wanted he wanted her. Pam just happened to be her roommate yeah. when he, went, when he went there. When he yeah. went there to try to get her to be on the show, like to sell her be, right. being being his girl. Pam happened to be his roommate. That's crazy. Yeah. And Martin and Pam actually had a relationship for a little bit outside of um outside of it, uh -huh. in real life. But uh. That was crazy. He he was he was a in a play with Tommy. That's how yeah, him and Tommy him got and him met. and Tommy yeah. got close. And then he knew Carl from just being around in, in the industry. So they all knew each other. That right. that was dope. The show is set in Detroit, Michigan. Um, it stars Martin Lawrence in the role as Martin Payne. He first started off as a radio disc jockey. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, w was it WZUP? What's yeah, up? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And his girlfriend uh, Tisha Campbell. And then um, uh, Cole and Tommy was Martin's friends, yeah. and then Pam was uh, was uh, Gina's uh, uh, best Gina friend. Yeah. And he started off as a radio station. Then at some point, he grew into a TV host. Man, yeah, uh, he made that transition. Yeah, he transitioned into uh, the, the, the television the show. Cheap ass show. <laughs> cheap ass show. He was on. <laughs> but do but do y'all remember first seeing Martin? I do. Um, came on like, 1992. Yeah, I mean, um, like you said, you know, uh, him being on the radio. I definitely remember watching Martin as a kid. I remember coming on Thursday nights at 8:30. It was like uh, Living Single, Martin, and then no, New York on the cover. Living Single came on after Martin. Martin came oh, yeah, on yeah, first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and yeah, then yeah. Living Single, and I think New York on the Color was the, the the hour afterwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah that yeah, was nine o'clock. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Definitely. Uh, do remember that? That's a nice lineup, man. <laughs> Martin yes, living yeah. single and, it was and New York Undercover. It was That's over. a crazy that, lineup. New, New York Undercover sent you to bid. That's a yeah. Yeah, because New York Undercover was yeah. crazy. That's a crazy Fox lineup. Had a nice lineup. Yeah, absolutely. And then on Sunday you had uh, 
in Living Color. Mm. In the Simpsons, too. Uh-uh. Yeah, I definitely right. remember that. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a crazy lineup. Yeah. But, I, yeah, I remember I remember the first – I didn't realize I was this young, but I remember the first episode. I remember – he's like, get the stepping, Gina. <laughs> get <laughs> the stepping. <laughs> then she started walking, chee, 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 chee. That was the first episode. That was hilarious. That was hilarious. That yeah. was hilarious. And I didn't, it feels like I was older, but I guess I wasn't if it was 1992. I was yeah. in elementary school, but I was – I loved it from the beginning. Like that's a show that is funny. We was young as kids, but our parents watched it. Oh, we yeah, watched yeah. it. We all watched. Everybody it. thought it was, everybody thought Martin was hilarious. Yeah, and it wasn't because like no curses, you know, like nothing. Yeah, nothing the, and then the characters nobody. that he was bringing. Oh, yeah, you know absolutely. what I'm saying? So once the characters start coming in, people start liking their favorite characters and all that. It just it just became routine, man. Like I don't remember it not being on. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. I'm just being real. I don't remember yeah. it not being on. Like. You know how all these shows got their time and then it's all right, it's off. I don't remember not, Martin not being off. Yeah. No. It had a, it, it's still it's still on. Like it, it never stopped. Oh, yeah. Like this this run, it never it's it's still it's it's just crossing over the new generations, the new generations. But that's the crazy thing about Martin is like you can catch a rerun and you just you still gonna watch it. And, it's, like, whole, and it's still yeah, funny. Like, Yo, it's, yeah. it's still <laughs> funny, man. It's yeah. crazy. Let's talk about some of the characters on Martin and what they brought to the show. First of all, Martin Lawrence. What did what did Martin bring to the show? Of course, his name everything, after him. everything, oh, yeah, multiple yeah, characters. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The different flamboyance of being um, part of the hip hop world and still being in the you know the comedy comedy game. Word, word. Just everything, man. And I think that like the overall like just whole put together of this man was crazy even from the decorating of the crib having it looking like a straight one bedroom yeah. you know what i'm saying the, you know the um the um do the right thing do poster do the right thing yeah. poster that was very big and it made that poster very big even like his fashion bigger than like what it is the fashion yo he Mark had a free he had a free mike tyson shirt yeah, on at one yeah. point like that yeah. was dope yeah. black the historically black colleges yeah, like HBCUs, like will smith used that. to do on fresh prince too yeah, like, yeah. so all that you know like so he brought so much to the game man and he put focus on a lot so it it, it took him to another level man and and gave people that other great comedians under him Gave him that light, like, yo, man, I want to have my own show. This is, you know what I'm saying? But he wasn't, like, selling out on. either, which was, which, nah, was, it which made it really man. dope. It was like, like he was, like. Well, of comedian. course they want to say he sold out because he put the dress on for uh, Mama Payne. Because, you know, they said that once but, you put the you dress on. But you see that? I, I, and now, that, I, for I the most. No, for the most part, I think that that does have truth to it. But in Martin's defense, um, I'm. I'm I, I'm gonna come to his defense a little bit because he did so many characters. Yeah, exactly. Like he had to do uh, some kind of females. He did yeah. everybody. He did two yeah, of them actually. It, it wasn't yeah. like a lot of other people just do. You know, I ain't Good gonna call no names, but they Drake. just do. They just do female characters. He do, Drake did the blackface. <laughs> and he just did it to do it. Martin has a. He did white guys. He yeah, did. He did yeah. like he did Otis. kids. Bob from did, marketing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, bro, dude, you know, yeah. you told me bring these margaritas up. <laughs> <laughs> Dragonfly, like he did so many yeah. old people. He did everybody. So, of course, I think he had to do to yeah. female characters, too. And and it, and it wasn't even traditional. Like, Shanaynay yeah. was completely unconventional. Yeah. Like, she wasn't no dress. She had the braids. And I mean, I mean, to me, like, that's actually kind of showing his range yeah. as a comedian. Like, like, it's still funny, but it ain't like you... I, I think Martin, I think there was a show Martin was like Martin, we already knew he was funny from Def Comedy Jam, the movies. I think the show just spread his his wings yeah. and just is like, yo, I can, I'm so versatile with this thing. He's making this stuff up off the, some of yeah. our favorite moments was Whoa, spontaneous yeah. stuff, yeah. man. Like, it's the stuff he was making up. It's crazy. And they just stuck Whoa. with it. Like, yo, we keeping that. You know yeah. What I mean? Like, that's. Instead of like, yo, what are you doing? You're not sticking to the script. Nah. It's like, yo, we just gonna rock with it. It was hilarious. Yeah. Like, yo, I, I feel like Martin Martin was just, he was everything to the show. Like, Martin, yeah, yeah, yeah. he laid the foundation, his his vision, and and everybody else just fell into place yeah. with it. What about Tisha Campbell, a.k.a. She was, Gina? She is a big part she of, a the, of the show, man. Co-pilot. And, they, got, and you, they both played a major part, you know what I'm saying? And... I don't know if she's the next most beneficial off off this show, but I think she should be after, after Martin because 
we we seen what the show was like w- without her. You know what I'm saying? Wasn't so the same. imagine wasn't the same. Yeah, and so how many episodes we had with out actual Martin? Not that none, many. None. Martin was on every yeah. episode. He was no the actual M- Martin character wasn't on, on uh, a couple uh, episodes. Uh, I, I get what you But what when you he had like the Dragonfly yeah, yeah, Jones or yeah, when yeah. somebody else Jerome, that he was, Jerome was on Jerome. episode. Yeah, I got you. You know what I'm saying? So Martin was, you know, it was a couple of them. But when even them episodes was not was not that good. They was good, but not that good because it wasn't actually Martin. But being as though Martin was still there and he was portraying another co- um another person, it was good. You know what I'm saying? So I just think that yo man, like, like Tisha, she she was just so big, and when she left, the show just got dead. It wasn't the same without her, they, the chemistry between them. The, what they call on screen chemistry yeah. was a big deal. So if they're not with each other, they, they, their magic was gone because you, yeah. you you got to hear some behind the scenes stuff of how they work together, and they had they had it. Like you know, Martin and Gina are part. That their names is like. That's like part of pop culture. Oh, like yeah, it's yeah. like they go together. Like yeah. Martin and Gina. Like yeah, exactly. people even say that. Like yo, raps is like Martin and Gina. We like Martin and Gina. Like yeah. they was together. Fab so. even got their argument. One of one of their arguments. Yeah. On I, that, that, on, the, the, on, one on, on, on about, the one I'm talking about. The one I'm talking about with, the, with the, uh, the first episode. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Nah, that uh, Tisha Campbell was a big, big part of the show. Huge part. What about Thomas McHale Ford, aka Tommy? Tommy Rest in peace. Funny. Rest yeah. in peace to Tommy. Tommy was funny from his laugh, everything. You know what I'm saying? He 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 was funny. You know what I'm saying? Then the more stuff came out about Tommy, you know, like I ain't saying after he passed, but I mean like uh, they start making the memes like um, all this time we didn't know Tommy was a drug dealer and all that. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> yeah, yeah. he never had no job and shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, but like he said, man, he it wouldn't be right without Tommy. So he, you know. This is something that just might be left alone. But his character is like that friend that we all have that's like a just has a job. Well, you know, have a work. Job. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I, mean, I mean, just a straight up good dude, good yeah. friend, always positive, never, you know always what I'm saying? Always looking nice. Yeah, always looking like, like yeah, That's just him. I and think Tommy Angle bought a different. It, it bought it, it worked with everybody else, but yeah. he still had like a little different angle to yeah, his yeah, comedy yeah. and to his funniness. Yeah. It was like he actually would set people up. Like, oh, yeah, he would be yeah, the yeah, straight yeah. guy kind of to set up your jokes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Cole, you stupid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Like, yeah. Or Tommy, he would say something, and then, then it would set up Martin's joke on, oh, on yeah, there or something. Yeah, yeah, like, he would be the setup guy. Yeah. But he knew how to, like, position yeah. it right. Tommy was a, a big part, man, a big part. Uh, what about Carl Payne, uh, a.k.a. Cole? <laughs> big part as well. Yeah, uh, You know Cole, what I'm saying? He, yeah. brought, he, brought the, he brought the part that – was possible to happen because you know every everybody all friends ain't straight. Friends ain't, you know all this is on the right page. Yeah. Or, you know it's always somebody that's missing a couple sandwiches from their picnic. You know what I'm saying? And Cole was that one, and he what he brought to the one. table. You know what I'm saying? And and just his infatuation with the wrong shit yeah. or the shit that's not good made his character much dope. Like the big girls. He loved the big girl, Big Shirley. Yeah. Big Shirley big you know Shirley. What I'm never seen Big Shirley yeah, face. Never. <laughs> yeah. Then he had his own little call outs and own sounds that he yeah. made. So it made it, you know, <laughs> where <laughs> And then Carl and then and then Cole style, you know, he 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 starts swagging. Yeah, he, he, did, he did, he did, he had the you little know what I'm afro, saying? little yeah. blowout. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So all, all all that he was a perfect role player, man. Definitely. He had the hat game too, real yeah, crazy. Yeah. Perfect nah. role player. But he had like a good heart too, like like like, like even though he was kind of slow on the show, like yeah. like people knew like Cole was a good guy. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? Like Cole absolutely. was like, yo, that's just Cole being Cole. Absolutely, you know? yeah, absolutely. And then and then Tashina Arnold, aka Pam, and we found yeah. out that she wasn't even the original character, so she actually earned her stripes. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, first thing, first and foremost, man, Pam was fat as a motherfucker. Back <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let's be real, motherfucker. Watch that show for Pam. Pam fat is a motherfucker back then. That is fucked up. A lot of people like yeah. Pam over Gina. You know what like, I'm saying? A lot of motherfuckers on Pam. You know yeah, what I'm saying? And real, real shit. And Pam was fat. And, you know, just her overall shit as well, though. The, the, the shit she had going, then 
her back and forth game with Martin was crazy. You know what I'm saying? Oh, but they, yeah, definitely. They both had their jokes. Oh, but classic. come to find and then like I said, come to find out, we we finding out that some of her shit was natural. Some yeah, of her yeah, shit yeah, was yeah. just moments that yeah. she stepped up. You know what I'm saying? But and they had a chemistry together. Uh, but they also had a yeah. real thing for a little bit. They was, but that really was like a whole other dynamic to the yeah. show too. It was like, all right, you got Pam. Pam started talking with Tommy. Tommy and Pam. Then it's like the Martin going back and forth with Pam. That Absolutely. was funny. Yep. A whole other dynamic. But also, she's best friends with Gina, so mm-hmm. it's like she has to be around. You it's know like a yeah. big it's circle, like, yeah, man. It's, like, it's all, yo, know, pretty much. It's it's almost like a like a basketball team. This is the starting five right here. This, this is the and show. it's all you need. That's you really you need. I mean, yeah. anything else that was added is cool, but yeah. right there, you got enough to have a great show. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, definitely, <laughs> a definitely, funny, hilarious show, but definitely, man. Uh, Wow, classic, classic characters, man. Word, word. All right, so what do you think separated? Martin came out in the 90s. It was a lot of dope shows in the 90s. Um, what do you think separated Martin from the other shows? I think it was like, it was it was, it was, was a time that hip-hop was really starting to grow, and it felt like different from every other black sitcom that came out. It was more like, yo, these guys are really relatable. You know, he's like, this is us. Like, this is... The 90s, this is how people dressing, how people talking. You know what I'm saying? It just felt more real. Like, yo, this guy had a job. He had a he had a one-bedroom place. <laughs> like, you know what did. I'm saying? Like, it, it just felt real at the time. Yeah. If it, more important, and I, I don't want to keep saying more importantly, but overall, it's, it's feel reachable. Like, Martin, where he was at in this show and what he portrayed felt reachable for the average black man or for a black man to do and and be okay if he had that. You, yeah, you get what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it wasn't like the Fresh Prince and he living way over there and yeah. and and Beverly Hills, which we truly doubt that it happened with any of us. But Martin shit was more real and more down to earth, and it was just so raw. And then the things that he was bringing to the table, man, and the characters and everything, it, it kept the show balanced. and Definitely, definitely. And it hit you from all angles, and it was funny. It yeah. was funny as shit. Like, for real, man. Like, can you imagine smoking and back then being able to smoke or whatever and watching Martin when it first came out back yeah. then? We was crying with tears in our eyes out that motherfucker. Hilarious. Man. Yo, Martin, to me, Martin pushed boundaries. Like, whatever the – I'm sure, like, now they got more stuff you can get away with on yeah. TV. But whatever the the, like – the 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 well, like the limits of things you could do on on TV was I know Martin pushed that thing all the oh, way yeah, to like the, whatever you could, yeah. I, I'm sure it was some stuff they're like all right we can't put this yeah. out Martin yeah. but I, I, he pushed the boundaries of, of stuff you can do on yeah. TV to the to whatever you can get away with yeah. like Martin was doing and I don't think other people was doing that like it just had this it had this edge to it like it was just it was, it was an edge. Like, the, just the subject matter, the stuff they was doing. Even the stuff that they couldn't get way, away with, they would throw, like, little stuff in there subliminally to, like, yeah. try to get it in there a little bit. <laughs> right. Like, that I don't even know if everybody caught. Like, it was, like, if this is edgy. This yeah. is super yeah, edgy. Yeah, super edgy. Like, super edgy. And I think that's what separated him from the other shows. Like, they kind of played it safe. Yeah. Fresh Prince ain't pushed the boundary. I love Not Fresh Prince, but it didn't push the boundary mm-hmm. like Martin did. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like Martin was on it, but that's the kind of comedian he was. Oh, yeah, so yeah, I'm yeah, not definitely. surprised. You know, Martin said crazy yeah. stuff during his comedy specials. So I'm not surprised, man. I mean, but it still felt real. Like, like it Absolutely. didn't feel like it wasn't authentic. And um, I don't think I could see Martin like on HBO, like him cursing and stuff. Like to me, it's funner that he don't curse and stuff on on Martin because it's like you really got to. Push the joke, mm-hmm. make people laugh. Without- you know, you know what is crazy. Mike Epps got the show now on Netflix, the, like the TV yeah, series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when I think, of, when I likes. think about, yeah, and, and and I don't think it's a bad show, but I'm thinking like, man, if Martin had a, like a TV show yeah. format <laughs> on Netflix where you yeah. can say yeah. anything, anything, yeah, could that you imagine a Martin yeah. show on there? That like, crazy. man. When he, could, been crazy. when he could do and say whatever. You yeah. see how funny his TV show was yeah. on network television. Word. If he had that on Netflix, oh, wow. That'd be messy. <laughs> like, I mean, plus with that budget, too. Like, yeah, what What do you need? We'll, we'll just give it to you. But yeah. what, about, what about Martin and his connection to hip-hop? 
Man, I mean, to me, it's like just it was dope seeing Biggie, Method Man, Biggie on Snoop Dogg on man. there. Uh, it was just dope to seeing that. Yeah, yeah. Bushwick Bill on there. Yeah, Bushwick Bill, he was on there. Outcast was on the Players yeah. Ball episode. It so was you, like it was like everybody wanted to be. Oh yeah, a definitely. part of that. You know what I'm saying? What Martin had going on. You know what I'm saying? So the 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 hip hop the hip hop shit was like it it, it was him anyway because he was bringing yeah. Def Jam. On the TV now, yeah, right? What he represented, because you know he always came out fly with his shit on his hip hop shit, and it just was always right. I yeah. mean, but but at the time it was weird. It was like, yo, that's Biggie on national TV. Like he's not rapping; he's just acting. Yeah, and he had yeah, Method Man, and, and and they wasn't just always coming on as rappers. Yeah, like exactly, Biggie was actually yeah. acting, even yeah. though he was acting as himself. But Method Man was acting. Yeah. <laughs> Method Man is part yeah. of one of the funniest shows. One of the funniest shows. On there, Met the Man's a part of, but uh, you know, they, like Snoop was actually acting, like he yeah, was, exactly. Snoop was like, This is my first time I was on a show, yeah. like acting, like so that's dope that he was giving them the yeah, opportunity, yeah. and not just that, not just the rappers, he had Brian McKnight on there, um, when he when he uh, proposed to Gina, which was a big episode, yeah. Babyface sung it there. Um, at, at their wedding, and who yeah. can forget Jodeci being on oh, there? Yeah. Like that was a, <laughs> yeah. it was a classic. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Like so, he was throwing oops, man, yeah. to these guys. Then also, uh, he had uh, Dawn Staley, the yeah, chick from, the, from Rebecca the Lobo in the team. back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that, was, that was dope too at the <laughs> time. For, they, know, for, yeah. That was dope. <laughs> they bust Martin in the man. <laughs> yes, they did. They brought my oh, boy Skywalker. <laughs> Skywalker came up there with, oh, yeah. <laughs> with the walker. <laughs> he did. He did. That yeah, was they hilarious. Got trash. They was punching. Yeah, Cheryl them. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, they was trashing them, man. They was trashing them. So, uh, the Martin man, the characters on Martin. You mentioned them freaks. Um, what what made all the Martin characters so special? Because like. The I mean, moments. I mean, other than Eddie Murphy on on movie, this is the first time we've seen this on television. Yeah. Um, you know, you know, he did that on Coming to America with Eddie Murphy, but Martin, this is the first time we've seen this on network television yeah. to like this. So what what made his character so special to you? It was the moments, man, because he knew the moment of each character, and it was like they was coming in at the right time. You know what I'm but saying? But the thing is, like, you didn't know when they was coming. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but like, it, like, but it fit. It yeah, fit, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Definitely. Like, and that's what I was saying. Like, it was episodes with Shanae, and they had a whole episode. Yeah. yeah, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. That's why I said so. At times, it was certain certain characters had that big part. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Dragonfly Jones, he never had like too much of a nah, big yeah, part. Nah, it was always little. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. It was always kind of little. He definitely you know what didn't have no backstory. Exactly. <laughs> so you know how that shit goes. Let's so. have an origin story. Where and like he said, Jones like. At? They had to tell him to bring them characters out. Like, yo, you yeah. should do such and such. Do you know what I'm saying? And that, that's what made them bring them out. Yeah. But also, the crazy thing about it, some of that he was just playing around, and they became fan favorites yeah. or like cult favorites. So he had to come back with yeah. them because the people went like, like White Bob from marketing. Like, he was yeah. Just, <laughs> yeah. 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 Then he had Elroy Preston. Yeah. Man, don't you know no yeah. good? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't yeah. you know yeah. no good? Uh, Otis. Otis, <laughs> Otis, come yeah. on, man. Otis, the security guard. Jerome, of course, yeah. is a, a favorite. Mama Payne, man. My mama biscuits. Roscoe. <laughs> Roscoe, little oh, snotty man. kid on his knees. Roscoe, yeah. That's uh, Dragonfly Jones. Jones Shanae, like these is classic, classic characters. Classic characters, yeah. man. Classic What was your what was your favorite, you think, of Martin characters? I would say Jerome. Yeah. Everybody hands like down, Jerome. Hands down, Jerome. <laughs> Jerome. From man. what Jerome yeah. represented. Yeah. That player shit. Player from the Himalayas. Man. And he walked like uh he like said, bow like it too. You ever seen him walk? <laughs> yeah. Like, like, like pigeon toed or But the old heads like, be dressing like that. <laughs> yeah. Give him the macaroni Tony. <laughs> 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 he said, now yeah. when you give him the tickets, you don't sit down a lot again. You slide. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's, that's genius to even think of that. Yeah. You know what this I mean? this like, is next level. I don't know if he realized at the time, but what he did with those characters is next level, man. Like he took the yeah. game. The comedy game to a whole nother level. And he just added to his value, and even for him in future movies and stuff, just oh, stuff yeah. that he could do. Like he just added to like th yeah. the price went up. Like the Definitely price went up. Like it. Fat Joe would say. Like you can't pay him the same when he's nah. bringing that much to the table, man. Even on this show, he had to re up at some point and get more money. Like oh, he yeah. had to. Yeah, he was doing too much. 
And I think from that he went from that to Bad Boys with Will Smith. That was that, that 1996. So actually, it, during the show, yeah, he, yeah. he went to like, Bad this Boys mega star. Yeah, so mm. it's crazy, man. Um, what was some of the other characters outside of Martin that, you know, and it wasn't the main character that you loved on, on Martin? Yo, you know, now I think about it. How come they have Stan on the show for the for the reunion? Gary, oh, Gary Moore. Oh, maybe he was uh, busy. You know or maybe he's like, older too, though. I know, man. Yeah, but still, that would have been saying? dope. Yeah, but yeah. I don't know why they did. I'm sure if, if he could, maybe he was doing something. Yeah. Maybe health wise, he couldn't do it. I'm not sure. He, he get he getting up there. He definitely was a funny funny yeah. character though. He was his boss, and then he he went into business with him when they had the restaurant at Rena yeah. Spoons. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> But uh, your favorite characters that was like either guests or like a supporting character on the show? Uh, the chick Myra. I always thought she was funny. Myra. Like she's always, to me, like hit. Myra her was Martin hilarious. Always, Myra. Myra, like Myra the old, 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 old black lady. Old black lady. Old black lady with the yeah. short haircut. Yeah, she worked yeah. at the DM. Yeah. Uh, she, she worked at the DMV at one point. She, yeah, she was yeah. on a lot of episodes. No, no, Myra's the one that had the bad feet. Yeah, he was drunk. Yeah, yeah he was drunk. Yeah. Yeah. I thought you... The, um, I like the other little lady a little bit better than Mar. Oh, she the old a, lady. The yeah, with him and Mar, her and Mar, you saw. Oh yeah, yeah. That's rare, yeah. I like her a little bit um, better. Of course, man, bro, man from the fifth floor, oh, yeah, man yeah, from yeah, the fifth definitely. floor slide to get I'm some sandwiches. I'm gonna say for me, I'm gonna say. Um, I'm gonna say Hustle Man, Hustle Man, and Reverend Lonnie Love. Oh, <laughs> Lonnie, Reverend Lonnie Love. He said, "Satan." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very Lonnie Love, that's classic. Yeah. He was hilarious, man. He said, "Let me see what I can do about that bronchitis." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know if I can do anything about that malignant mole. <laughs> Yo, that shit was crazy. Also, man, man. he gave Tracy Morgan his, his yeah. big big shot, man, and yeah. he sold a man a pizza. And he, he had the yeah. big old pizza, and he bought the little <laughs> personal pan. He had the big he he the personal the pan. Shit. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> this man sold him everything, man. Yo, right. man, two G's, man. Man, I give you three hundred. All, All right, deal. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I cater you, Joe. See? That's too much. Chitlin loaf. <laughs> he said we be serving chitlin loaf. <laughs> Vernell Hill too, man. Uh Tommy Davis had killed that. Oh, yeah, he killed yeah, that yeah. cash. Sha boing boing. <laughs> yeah. He said he came out regular from the rip from that. Mm, mm, mm. Like he 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 freestyled that whole joint. That's dope, man. Ah, oh, classic, very dope, very classic. Dope. It was the um. It was also the black guy that used to be serious all the time. Um, he was on the DMV episode. Angry so, man. Yeah, he was like, sit your ass <laughs> down. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Mark came in, tried to yeah. touch the magazines in the shoe store. Uh, uh, I wouldn't do that if I was you. <laughs> <laughs> all this, all this, oh. a lot of the characters was man after that. Yeah. Hustle man, bro man, angry man. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, what about some of your favorite moments from Martin? Oh, man, I think they showed them all in the in the reunion, man. But um, definitely the um, New Jack City. Joint. Oh, oh yeah. that, Nino that, Brown. That, that was classic. The Players oh. Ball joint was classic. Yeah. It's some classic ones, man. Martin, Martin had some real good ones, man. Oh, man. Whatever you you probably name, I like it. Man, the Nino Brown when he did that scene yeah. with the stuffed dog, oh, man, and and even just hearing crazy, the man. hearing them talk about it afterwards and how it, it came it about, yeah. like he wanted a real dog yeah. and they gave him that. <laughs> <laughs> but he made it work. <laughs> then the dog fell. Yeah. He said, "Sit." <laughs> 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 then he jumped he over. He jumped it. over. <laughs> <laughs> he jumped over. Yeah, that's shit. crazy. You know, and one little episode that always, a little, one little part, it was episode where he had all this gear, and then he sold it, and then he came back, and he had this air whack. Um, his air, it was the, the tracksuit was air whack. He had these yeah. tight ass sneaks on, uh, and it was tight. He came and walking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. At the moment when he got pool hustle, right? <laughs> <laughs> he also in full. Yeah. He's like, I can't oh, get on like this. <laughs> oh man! And when it, when his face got swollen up from Tommy Hitman Hearns man, at the end, <laughs> that was that. That's classic as well, man. Definitely. It's a lot of classic. That, that show was so ahead of his time. So ahead of his time. Classic, oh. man. What about yeah. what about favorite episode? You know, you got five seasons worth of episodes. Any any episode that just stand out to you? Oh mm, man. I don't know, man. It's it's so many to choose from, man. It's That's like what I was about to say. it's like it's it it. it. What's the episode that you know when you see it? You you, you was gonna laugh. 
Like, oh, man. What's the one uh, where he got that big flat screen TV? The, um, yeah. Hashi Tashi. Hashi Tashi. Hashi Tashi. Hashi Tashi. That joint's always one of my favorites. Of, like seeing that one. Man, he got so many. The one, the yeah. one, the, the one, the one with the um, the one with the Nino Brown episode is actually he got his CD player stole. I think Method Man stole his CD yeah, player. Yeah, yeah. He got his CD player stole, <laughs> and um, and and um, and Stan was saying that his friends took it, and that's what made him start to question them. Oh, that's yeah, what yeah, led yeah. to the New Jack yeah, City. Yeah, that that was, joint, that joint too, in the um, the the the, the lawsuit shit. When um she, she over, the mom Mar, mom overheard Gina on the phone talking uh, uh, about the lawsuit shit. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, one yeah. of the joints, man, that is the fun one of the funny scene that I'll be bagging the fuck up every time I see it, dog, is the episode when um Jerome and Pam they went out on a couple did, dates yeah, and yeah, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. Before, uh, I guess after the first date, they went out or whatever. You know, Jerome feeling himself. He runs in the motherfucking coat inside the motherfucking in the store. Uh, in, the in the store, yeah. there about the rumble. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he said, "Come on with your little yeah. thick ass." <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. Oh man, yo! Every time I see that Jerome was talking shit to him, you had Jerome came in that motherfucker. Yo, <laughs> with a short motherfucking dress. Pants short yeah. on with a long <laughs> ass sock. <laughs> Yo, this gear used to be crazy, man. I'm telling you. Just like Jerome was the all time funniest, man. Word, man. Yo, I remember when Martin got the ticket for running the stop sign and he decided to fight it and go to court himself. <laughs> and he was he was cross examining Tommy. Yeah. He said, Man, what does what does G- 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 GTD mean? What does GTD mean? Like, nah, nah, chill, man, chill, man. Chill. What does GTD mean? Got the draw! Got the draw! Got the draw! Got the draw! It got the draw! No, that was crazy. You gotta peep gay, though. You gotta peep the motherfucking bailiff, though. You ain't peep the bailiff. He's probably back there cracking up and shit. <laughs> the bailiff was like, yeah. <laughs> that shit was crazy. Yo, that was uh, hilarious, man. And, and on the one where he was in the DMV, his ID expired. He was in yeah, the DMV. Her, like, um, oh, Sherman Hempstead yeah. was in there. Yeah, yeah. Sh- oh, rest of me, the Sherman Hempstead was definitely in and there. And then the motherfucking roof home. <laughs> the good, the gay nigga, man. He was acting like he was gay. He oh, was funny. Oh, yeah. He, he was, was <laughs> coming in and spinning his shit. <laughs> Oh, oh, also when they went to vacation uh, and he was fighting the rat possum oh, yeah, thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he had him in a yeah. headlock. <laughs> he had him in a headlock beat oh, That him. was crazy. And just kept on coming back. <laughs> Came through the window, started punching it through the window. Oh, man, that shit was crazy, man. Oh, like, yo, man. how could you be on that show and not la- Like, I would, yeah. I, would, I would like, oh, you messed up the episode again. I'm just laughing so hard, man. And, of course, the time he hit Man Hearns one, that was funny. And then the whole Vernell Hill thing where he cracked, he yeah. went to L.A. He actually, a little part of that, he fought Mike. It was a memory he yeah, fought yeah, Mike. Yeah. He fought Mike. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mike he Jackson. Like, he was Mike like, yo, Jackson. Look, Tito. He punched him. <laughs> stole him. <laughs> so, oh, he stole me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man. sighs> Classic, man. Yo, Martin is a classic show, man. Definitely. Wow. Cool. Well, what about any Sands quotables that came from Martin that you know that stood the test of time? Oh. Got the You Go Girl. That's you, classic. You Go man. Girl, for damn sure. Damn Gina. Damn. Yeah, like, you, like, you say damn Gina. You're like, you already yeah. know Damn Gina. From. A little something, something. A little something, I something. didn't even know they said, the, I didn't even think about that. They said the, the Maxwell song came from that. Do oh, yeah. oh, okay, I ain't okay, even okay. think I ain't even think about that after all these years. Yeah, I I'm like, wow. That makes sense though. I ain't even think about that. Man, you ain't got no job. Yeah. Like get the step man. Get, <laughs> get the step man. Like, yo. Yeah. You ain't gotta go home, but you gotta get the hell up out of here. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. What's up? Like all that. Like that stuff yeah. became normal sands all from the Martin show, man. Man. It's classic. But one of, one of the things they talked about that I didn't know about, what do y'all think about this? Kid Capri called Martin out um, during this, because uh, Martin said on the on a reunion special that Cole was on the voice of the, um, Martin, what's up? Uh, the intro part? Oh, 
Yeah, and and Kid Capri like, yo, Martin, stop playing. That is me. How you going? And it sounds just like Kid Capri. Oh, he's sure. saying that's me. I ain't never get compensated. You gonna get on the show and you gonna say that's cold? Like that was wow. disrespectful. And T- Tisha Campbell, I mean, uh, yeah, Tisha Campbell actually apologized to him. She actually talked to Kid Capri and apologized to him because he took it from Deaf Comedy. Something he said on Deaf Comedy oh, Jam. Wow. That's where they took the snippet from. But Martin was on the show saying that that was cold. Yeah, and, yeah. and Kid Capri like, there's no way that's cold. That's yeah. me all the way. It, sa- it sounds Martin, just like. Yeah, yeah. yeah, this is sped up. Yeah, yeah it's man. definitely him. So I don't know what's Whoa, going on that, with that. What do you think about kinda, that? That is kind of crazy. And he never got well, compensated. Oh, so he never got hit. So they, he, that's why he wanted to say it was cold. Yeah. But Cole sat there. Yeah, he definitely played along with it, though. Yeah. There ain't no fucking cup. Nah, I think um we got to make that right, man. They got to make that right. I mean, but I mean, but that's been the, the been a theme song for what? The first two seasons? I don't even think it was about that he ain't get compensated. I think that's like you're going to get on there and say it wasn't oh, okay. me. Like yeah, yeah, it, yeah, it was yeah, even yeah. more than right. a money situation. Yeah, yeah. He's like, "Damn, like yeah. You ain't going you going to get on there and say that's cold? You know that's right. me." I think I think it was more that than actual like a money comp- compensation. Yeah, it's thing. Almost, yeah, it's just Kind of just, uh, Is it possible Martin didn't even know himself? Yeah, I don't know. Somebody had to green light that. I mean, I would yeah. think you would know where that. I, if Cole laid some tracks for that, I would think you would you would kind of know. Yeah, I don't know. I that one's kind of hard. I think he got to make that right, man. I would think he knows. Huh? I mean, I mean this is your show. You, you should know where the theme song. He came definitely from. knows, man. Yeah. Shout out to Kid Capri. You got to make. I don't know what happened. Where the miscommunication, but he just felt some kind of way that. He that was that was mentioned like that in front of a big audience on a big show, oh, and he yeah, and not, he knew that I was yeah. a part of it. So, yeah. Kid Capri, a legend. Him and Martin, y'all got to talk and work that out. I think him and Tisha Campbell talked off screen, and because yeah. she said it too, and then he they ended up talking, and she apologized. She called Kid Capri and apologized. So, mm. hopefully, him and Martin had that conversation too, and it ain't no big deal because you know I agree. Him and Martin got history from oh, Def yeah, Comedy definitely. Jam, so and they yeah. both legends, so. Shit, if he want to get compensated every time that shit they play that shit, so he gonna be getting paid. Well, he could now he could be like, okay. I want to be petty now. Let me go. Let me try to go get get my money, y'all. You know, act mm. like it ain't me. You yeah. know, it's definitely his voice. It ain't yeah. no. It's not cold. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry. It's, it's it's definitely not cold. Wonder why they, why cold though. I don't even. That's that's weird. Uh, but why would Martin say that though? Yeah, exactly, I, yeah, I, yeah. I find it hard to believe that Martin has no idea. Who's on the show? I just I can't buy yeah, that one. Martin was high, man. <laughs> I, I I can't buy that one. I'm sorry, but like, yeah, yeah, y'all definitely gotta make that right. Ida, where do y'all have Martin's show uh, ranked on in the TV comedy sitcoms all time? Mm, sitcom all time. Comedy sitcoms, however you want to put it. Man, probably black. number one for me, man. Because the only thing that come close to this, man. Wow, man. It's probably something old. Is is the mold drinks. Like the Jeffersons. I, I, I love the Jeffersons. Mark. Um, Go ahead. This, this is messy, man. This is this is definitely. Sanford and Son. I love Sanford and Son. Martin, Martin got be Old classics. Number one. I think one, he took but, it to another level. But I it should be in everybody's one. top five, at least. If, it, if it's not in your top five. Sitcoms, not sketch comedy shows. The sitcoms. Yeah. I like the Jamie Foxx show too. I thought that was dope. I was never a fan of that show. I was. Man, Martin. Martin is to me. Martin is number one, hands down, easy. Martin is yeah. number one. It's not even close. Sitcom to me. Uh, everything's coming after that. Even as legendary as the Cosby. Cosby didn't impact me the way Martin did. Mar- Cosby would be number two. I love Fresh Prince. Fresh Prince is definitely top five, but it's not Martin to me. I love Sanford and Son also, but it's not Martin to me. Oh, like, man. Martin is number one. Like, they all in my top five. My top five. Took it to another level. My top you five is definitely Martin, number one. Then the Cosbys, probably uh, Fresh uh, Sanford and Son, Fresh Prince, and then I don't know what my fifth is. But Martin is number one. Like, to me, it's not a debate. Like, the show, this personal impact, Martin is that show, man. I mean, we all grew up on it, so it's like we all got that special place in our heart for it. And I think the hip-hop connection with Martin was like no other show. It just, like, where the the culture we was coming up in and what Martin represent, it just goes hand in hand. Like, like, I think think the streets love Martin. Like, just the real everyday person love Martin comedy because the Huxtables – 
they lived, they was rich. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. uh, Fresh Prince lived in Bel Air. He yeah. was rich. Yeah. You know, Sanford and Son was grimy, but and it was, it was funny, but that's it's old, it's old. That's an yeah. older show, though. <laughs> yeah, you know is, what I'm saying? This is in the mm -hmm. 90s. This is hip. This yeah, is fresh. like this is this, this is, is hip hop yeah. at his best. Martin was cheap. <laughs> like yeah. he, he ain't want <laughs> he ain't want spend no money. Yeah. Like, like he always found himself trying to get a way out. Trying, reachable. Yeah, like we yeah. we can relate to this, and he was just it was just black humor, real life hood. Like it, it was hilarious. He he nailed this man. Like he. And for a minute, it was like he could have missed. Oh, yeah, definitely. It was like he, he could have missed on this Shit show. ain't get funny until Gina and him with that bullshit. Yo, so looking back now, do you think Martin could have had some serious episodes? Like something serious happened? He did have serious episodes, but it always would come back full circle. Like it would get serious for a minute. Yeah, but yeah. I remember the episode when he had a oh, – <laughs> when she the dude, and Gina he, broke he, up. That – yeah, and yeah. then he thought he thought the dude was his son. The little boy oh, was yeah, his son, yeah, yeah. and then he got Whoa. all serious for a minute. <laughs> Miles, <I was laughs> yeah. Like, like, then then the boy said that. something. He's like, man, don't, don't be like. I, I forget what he said, yeah. Yeah. but it was like it was a serious yeah. moment. Then he ran know? off, became sunflower. <laughs> oh, that was like, yeah. And everybody thought Mark, they was scared. Everybody yeah. thought Mark. Was, and then he come and you see where he go through with this, and it, right. it was turned to funny again. Like he had, he could pull you in, like, but it always was in. And some comedy right. type stuff, man. Martin, whoo, my number one show, man, to me, of all time. Yes. Yeah, Martin is Martin is definitely number one. So Cause, we cause talk now when it comes on, you still just gotta watch it. You got that, to. That just shows like how good it is. You got to, man. You got to. Uh, so we talked a little bit about uh the thing with uh Martin and Gina and how that pretty much caused this show. They can say whatever they want. That caused the show to end. So like like what really happened? Well, like I, like I remember hearing stories like, oh, he tried to, yeah, he, it, yeah, it, took it too far. He thought came, that they was like really dating. It came across, it came across back then as if like it was a sexual assault kind of yeah, 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 yeah. kind of thing. As I learned about it, it wasn't really like a sexual assault. It was almost like she was saying like Martin was almost like. Like he was just into her so much that it was getting uncomfortable, and it was uncomfortable for the like stalking type. I don't, not like stalking, just like he it, started wanting the pussy. You it was just like wrong. it was just like he wanted. He I don't know. Her. It was just like I don't know if he, he just liked her or what, but it was just like it was getting to the point where she was uncomfortable with right. it. it. It wasn't more like he was doing stuff like sexual like or anything like that it just made it seem like when i actually seen the wording they made it a bigger deal back then like it was some rape sexual yeah, assault yeah. it wasn't really that so it was some stuff that you could you could easily say well that was her interpretation of it it may right. not have been the truth martin knew what he was doing dick started getting hard shit like that <laughs> niggas started wanting the real deal well as as the way they came across on screen you know, it's easily to see that, you know, they could have, you know, it, it was believable, put it that way. It was believable yeah. with their relationship. So I could see how maybe he could catch feelings and maybe Gina didn't feel the same or maybe she felt like he was going a little overboard. But she ended up filing some kind of suit. But it wasn't like, it, it seemed like then it was like some, like some Deshaun Watson yeah. type time or something. But it wasn't <laughs> nothing like that. But. Yeah. She didn't want to be around him. No, she didn't want to come around him. And plus, after you, plus after you jump out the you know window and say some stuff like that, she didn't want to be around him no more. Yeah. So at first, she just wasn't on the show at all. And then she came back, but they never was on the same scene. Even the last yeah. episode, they were never on the same scene. They were just talking on the phone, and you would see Gina and you would see Martin, but they wasn't yeah. in, the, in the same scenes together. Ooh. So that's kind of how the show ended in the fifth season. I remember it was the show when he went away on a boat trip. And Gina wasn't even in that episode yeah, when the girl yeah, from yeah. Uh, um, Thin Line Between Love and Hate was Lynn, on the boat stalking them. Yeah. yeah, so. That was she, one of the corniest episodes. Yeah, she wasn't in none of them, and the Love Boat guy was on there, but she wasn't yeah. She wasn't in none of them episodes at the end. And it just lost, like, you know, Freakers said, and they had that on-screen chemistry, and without them together, it just it took away from the show. Not funny. Yeah, I mean, Pam and, and, and Cole and Tommy, they could carry as much as they want, but that on-screen Martin and Gina, definitely, it, it definitely. made it work. So, how what, what what do you think about how that ended and and how that I went don't down? Know. With them? It, it, it fucked everything up. Is all I can say. So 
I don't know how I end it, really. I just know from what we was told or what we hear, but whatever happened, it fucked everything up, and it, it, it made the show kind of watered down towards the end. Uh, I think uh, shows definitely should have a five, six season, that's it. After that, you got to just wrap it up anyway because it, it was getting kind of, you know, kind of weird toward the end. So it 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 sucks that it ended like that, but it it was it was going to have to end eventually anyway. I think they could have maybe went a season or two more if 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 they had them to uh, if they had Martin and Gina like they were because they could have still played with more. Uh, they just got married, so you know they could have had kids. It was some other storylines they could have played around with, but they just never got around to. Right. I could see it going maybe it – it ended it with five seasons. I could see it going maybe six seasons, maybe even a season more. But at, at some point it was going to come yeah, to an yeah, end. Yeah. And at some point Martin was growing so much, he was going to have to go straight to the movies oh, at yeah, some point because yeah. it was calling him. But to end like that, yeah, for this show weird. to be that great, yeah, it kind of – It's a hell of a um, – Sure. As a fan, yeah, as a disappointment, yeah. you wanted to go out the right way yeah. at least, you know, with yeah, everybody yeah. on the same pace. Now, I'm glad to hear that they have, you know, whatever they had going on, they patched it up and they put it behind yeah. them. So that's great to see just so that they can come back together and do the press for the reunion and all that. That's great to see. But at the time, as a fan of the show, it sucked. It, it, yeah, that yeah. sucked for sucked. real. Now, sucked. wasn't there beef between Cole and Martin? Wasn't they going back and forth at one point? I I'm, thought they was. I, I might have heard a little was, something yeah. about that, but if they did, it wasn't. It, 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 I it, think it they squashed that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think they squashed that. But it definitely was unfortunate, man. I'm the super big Martin fan, so it definitely was unfortunate. But I'm glad looking back 30 years now, we can at least say they put yeah. that behind them. But if, if it, it, I would have been happy as a fan to see it end with a little more togetherness as right. a mm-hmm. as a whole mm-hmm. cast. Yep. And what do you think about the loss of Tommy just to the whole Martin TV show family? It was crucial. It was critical. Yeah. It, it, he I passed away in 2016. Yeah, that sucks. I mean, just, mm-hmm. you know, just, just seeing, like, him not being there for the reunion, it's almost like, damn, that's, that's crazy. Like, yeah. that would have been dope if he was there. Because he's such a big, you know, even yeah, though they, funny. He, yeah, even though, like, t- like, Tommy, Cole, and Pam is, like, they were such it, – it's really about them five, like you were saying, oh, yeah, like they're yeah, starting yeah. five. So they each had a role. Oh, yeah. So Tommy had a, a, a important role yeah. to the show. So it, 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 it sucks. That sucks, definitely not not seeing them there. Yeah, this is crazy. Now, over the years, we heard a lot of talks about Martin Ru- reboots, even Martin movie, TV show movies. What do you mm. think about that in 2022 and beyond? Would you be interested to see any kind of Martin nah. reboot mm-hmm. movie? Maybe worse anything? Uh, I would say try it. Mm-hmm. Just maybe like a don't fuck with it. Do it right, ain't gonna maybe. be right without Tommy. Number one, yeah, so Tommy. That's a big it. hit. Tommy's a big hit. Yeah. If Tommy was here, I would be open to it. Even though I don't want them to drop the ball, like say uh, coming to America too. Oh. But uh, <laughs> but I would still be open to it. But without Tommy, it's like yeah. damn. That's a big void right there in the game. I mean, even if it's just like a one hour special, just one time type thing, just to do it for to that. bring it yeah, back, just to bring it back, and but that's it. It like, ain't gonna be right. It's best to just leave it alone, man. Just let it be. Just let it be. <laughs> Whew, this is a classic, though. I don't man. know, no. man. But just let it be. I mean, people passing, we still. We still doing our thing. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, so it was man. like rest in peace to Taz. Yeah. And Taz loved this show too. He loved right, he right. think Martin was a classic just like everybody else. But yeah, but because this is on I don't that's a good point. That is a good point. But still They older now. I see if this happened when they was you know what I'm saying, in the mix of, of things. They older now. No yeah. you know, they moving different. You you feel me? You ain't gonna get the the characters yeah. that Martin used to play, you ain't gonna get all of them no more. You know what I'm saying? So I definitely hear you. Wow, Martin, thirty years! Congratulations, yes, to everybody. Man. Thirty. This year. is one of the best shows that ever touched television. Absolutely, I'm here to vouch for that. I you know agree. what I'm saying? I'm here for all the smoke. Say whatever you want. Bring your show. 
This one of the best shows that ever touched television. This show right? is still a this still a must watch. Whether it's on BET, whether it's on VH1, whether it's on TV One, <laughs> yeah. whether you just don't come on, just don't go on Lifetime, Mark. Nigga, nigga night, yo, nah, this this checks, is like a it? it's like living on through a whole new generation yeah, now, I agree. like yeah. through reruns. Like at one point, and after the Martin show was over, before DVDs that you see here came out. I had every episode of Martin taped on VHS. I taped every single episode of Martin on VHS. From the beginning to the fifth season, I had it on VHS, man. That's how much I love this show. I taped them. It would come on at like 7, 7.30 every evening, the reruns, and I would tape them. I had the whole yeah. thing on VHS, the whole Remember collection. Remember that back in the day? You guys actually set the, set the VCR like yep. one day at 8 o'clock, tape from this time to this time. I used to tape this, man. Classic show. Definitely classic so, show. So, Martin, man, 30 years later. 30. 30 years. Yeah, brother. Yeah. What's the legacy of, of Martin? One of the greatest shows, period. Sitcoms. Sitcoms. Period. The greatest show, the greatest sitcom ever. Greatest sitcom ever, man. This show practically raised me, man. Not even like the black and white thing. Just, it's, it's a great show in yeah, general. period. You know? This, fuck with this. It's the greatest, in my in my opinion, it's the greatest comedy sitcom whatever ever. Yeah. It, it ain't nothing better. It's, it's nothing, nothing more. It's, nothing it's not a show that came out that I laughed more on than Martin. I had no, no, no other show has made me laugh as much as Martin made me laugh. Like TV shows made me laugh more than Martin. This is a legendary show. It paved the way for so many shows to come mm-hmm. after it. Like, this is edgy television at its best in the early to mid-90s. Like, this was edgy. Like, man, I, I, if this man had, could, get, could do the stuff they doing now, like, That's it crazy. would be a wrap. But just the way he pushed the envelope here, like, Martin is a, a comedy genius. He's a legend. I don't know why he's just getting the Hollywood Walk of Fame now and all these other people just got. I don't even want to get you started on that. Preacher, but. Yeah, it's a whole lot. Of, it's a whole episode, man. Martin should have been got a Hollywood star yeah. over some of these other people. But, man, this, this Martin is a comedy genius. The, 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 whole, the whole team, the whole crew. It was just, it just, it was perfect, man. It was a perfect yeah, marriage of everybody, and it, and it just was magic. They created magic, and the show is legendary. It's a classic. It, it's the best. It's the best to touch television. Thirty years is crazy. I agree, Carl. Man. Everything you said. Thirty right. years, man. Did, did did this show? Any other shows that came after this? You think, you know, took away from the Martin DNA? Uh uh-uh. I would, I would kind of say that. Well. I told you the Jamie Foxx show. Jamie Foxx so definitely. Um, I was thinking about the the Wayne's brothers too. Wayne Wayne's brothers. brothers took away from uh, him too. Not the Chappelle show, but some of the characters I can see Dave Chappelle. Chappelle picking the, little the uh, characters definitely the Chappelle you know show. But even though it is two totally different type of shows. No, but I think he. I mean, he still he did comedy sketches. Yeah, so yeah. the comedy sketches definitely took away from Martin. The characters definitely yeah, took away I mean, from. But, Martin. But, but but that showed it, there was no story. Yeah, there was you no know, ever going no, story. Yeah. But he, I think, what well, and actually from the same area, the DC area. So yeah, yeah. they definitely, I, I, I'm, I know he definitely would say that was influenced. Actually, but Martin was born in Germany. Y'all know that? I didn't know that. Yeah, he's in German. But you know, uh, the Jamie Foxx show for sure. Uh, the Wayne's Brothers for yeah. sure. And, and I'm, it's it's. Probably some other shows too that probably came and went, but uh, they yeah. mm-hmm. they definitely took away from Martin. Man, but yo, like this show was so different Classic. from like, everything. As I mean, like you had your Family Matters and your Fresh Prince. Can't and all even stuff. you can't really yeah, exactly. you, you can't, can't even really yeah. compare Family Matters yeah. to Martin. Martin was yeah. so edgy. Family Matters, I love Family Matters. But yeah. Family Matters is like in this little let's say yeah, let's be yeah, safe. Yeah. This is just, yeah. <laughs> little safe box. Know, Martin man. was outside T-G-I-F. the box, man. <laughs> Yeah. Martin wasn't safe at all. Yo, so what show do you think influenced Martin? Sanford and Son. Mm-hmm. Sanford and I think San, a show like Sanford Jefferson. and Son the most. Jefferson. You got to have a little edge to it. Uh, Red Fox is crazy. He, he he got a little edge to I it. Got, mm-hmm. I got one show that was on Fox that I feel like definitely heavily influenced them. And it felt like, all right, you can do it on there. We can do it on here. What you about to say? In Living Color. Oh, absolutely. I feel oh, like absolutely. Fox, back then, the shit that they was doing. Absolutely. And now it's like Fox. In the, like, in the characters. In the yeah, characters, yeah, yeah. No, I agree with you. In Living Color was classic. Yeah. That's for sure. I think that gave Martin the freedom. Like, okay, they could do it. I can get yeah. away with it. Mm-hmm. Living Color is a classic show. So. Yep. 
I definitely see that. But happy, man, 30-year anniversary That's major, to man. Martin. 30 years. Congratulations, it's, brother. It, it's still on TV like – like time, like Cindy like right like now. Now, it's still, it's still, right getting, it's still getting big rerun checks right now. Man. Like we got the DVDs up here, we got the Martin Carr game. This trivia game is actually hard. It made me check myself. Like damn, I thought I knew some of them details. I was like, damn, I gotta go back and watch all the episodes Ooh. again. But yo, if you haven't seen Martin, I don't know, I don't young people, you old, or... please, man, this is this is the culture right here. This is hip hop. This is comedy at its best. Happy anniversary to everybody, man. Martin Lawrence, uh, rest in peace to uh, Thomas McHale Ford, a.k.a. Tommy. Rest in peace, brother. Uh, Tisha Campbell, Tashina Arnold, they still walk around here looking good. Uh, Carl Anthony Payne, man. Everybody, man. Everybody, yeah, they man. they doing anything, man. Good to see everybody. Everybody, man. Spirits. Tracy Morgan got his, got his big break on here. Like, man, yeah. everybody, man. Bruh, man, everybody. Nipsies, yeah. <laughs> everybody. Classic, classic show, man. Yeah, absolutely, Carl. Happy anniversary, y'all. 30 years. 30 years, man. You know what I'm saying? This is for the culture, man. We do stuff for the culture. And it's nothing bigger than the, for the hip-hop culture than Martin right here, Hell man. Yeah. So happy anniversary, yo. We Concert Crew Podcast. Make sure y'all go follow us at Concert Crew Podcast. Make yep. sure y'all go download, subscribe. subscribe. We on all digital Hit platforms. Make sure y'all go to our YouTube page, subscribe. We appreciate y'all, man. We see the views going up on our YouTube videos, man. Please continue to support, man. Go subscribe to our YouTube Thank you. page, man. Yo, man, we here. And we ain't, ain't going, going nowhere, nowhere. man. Mm, Yo, live man. Taz, man. Long live Taz, man. We going to continue to March 4th, brother. We love you. Yo, Pito, hit us with the fader. We out. Yep. yep.